Hi everyone, welcome back to Michelle Reads and Vlogs and today we are opening the February Fairy Loot YA box and this has the theme of a moth to the flame or the moth to the flame i can't 100 percent remember it will be in the corner of the screen as usual so let's open this up as usual this is a fully ya monthly subscription service that is fantasy books and i go for the option that has the four or five items along with the book of the month so let's get opening we're going to open the items first and then we will have a look at the book this looks so interesting <laughs> to begin with. I'm going to go for this first because I can see exactly what it is. Oh my days, it's the next tote bag. So this, I don't know what it's based on the theme of. Oh, it's a moth to the flame tote bag. Ah, but the books on it is all different, different books. I'm not sure if they're all books that Fairy Loot has done as special editions i kind of get the feeling that it is and the crimson moth which <laughs> spoiler is the book of the month is on there and yeah i think they are i'm pretty sure these are the books that fairy loot has done blue is one of my favorite colors i love the purples and greens that they've added in here i love the extras with these kind of orbs crystals that they've got going on the butterflies this is stunning. I do have the last version of this that they did, which was the Greek mythology based one. And they did one before that was more of like a brown colour. The Greek myth one was kind of like this marbly white. It was, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's my favourite tote. The brown one they did before I don't own, I didn't like as much, but this one is probably second favourite after the Greek mythology. It's it's beautiful. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same front and back. And one thing that I love about these totes is the quality. This is a high quality tote. The handles here are very well sewed on. That's going to carry a lot of weight. One of the things I don't like is when you get a bag in a book box subscription and they're not made very well and you think that's not going to hold like a bag of books. Could I go book shopping with this? And the answer is 100% yes. That's going to be very hard wearing. And I've just noticed it's got a zip. I don't know if the last one has a zip. I can't remember. But zips, if it works, fingers crossed. Ooh. Wiggle. Oh no, I just had to wiggle it a bit. Yeah, the zip on the top. Absolutely what a brilliant first item oh wow i don't know if we're um gonna be able to beat that now that might be my favorite item of the box love it absolutely love it <laughs> i could tell this was a hat from the sneak peek it's a fourth wing hat <laughs> I love it. So this is corduroy material. The cap is a slightly lighter grey to the kind of the, the dome of the hat. The lighter grey of the cap is the same as the little pin on the top and an adjustable strap at the back. It says Basgeath. I, I can't say that. I don't know if anyone could pronounce this word. It's the name of the war college in Fourth Wing. You've got two black dragons there, which is very interesting in terms of design. It might have made more sense to do either one black and a smaller gold one or a black and a blue. If you've read the books, obviously you'll know why. You do have a bit of cloud there, which obviously on all of the printing on all of these special edition kind of sprayed edges, they, they love the clouds because of obviously flying dragons in the sky. I'm going to assume they went for the two black because of the design of the hat. It probably would have fit a lot better. It would have looked a bit random just to have like a blue dragon or a gold dragon there. I don't know how I feel about it. It's got some plastic inside, which, you know, is one of those. We don't like plastic, but actually it's kept the shape of this in the box really well. I don't know if I'm going to wear this. Oh, I actually have a Canadian hat, uh, a Blue Jays hat, which I got from my trip to Toronto like seven years ago now and it is my go-to summer hat every year. People look at me very strange because obviously in the UK no one knows, <laughs> very few people know who the Blue Jays are. I like it. I really like it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think especially if you like fourth wing, this is going to be a, a good one for you. Like I said, I just need to decide... <laughs> when or if I'm actually gonna wear it. But yeah, that's that's super nice. Ah, this box. Oh 
my gosh we've got a mug and it is not a rosy thorn like we normally get do we get rosy thorn in fairy loot or is it a luma crate oh my gosh is it a luma crate i can't remember it's by at bluey boo and i love at bluey blue bluey blue i always pronounce it wrong i always try to say bluey blue it's not it's at bluey boo they are an incredible artist this is the jazad hair mug and I'm going to be honest, I've not read it. I've got it because it was a book in Fair Elite subscription. Or was it a Luma crate? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I'm getting everything confused. There's a duck with a little sword in its mouth. I've got no idea why. Anyway, I've talked a lot, so let's open it up. It's a glass mug. She had the temperament of a deranged goose. It's a goose, not a duck. The Jazad Air by Sarah Hashim. I don't know if you're going to fully be able to appreciate that with it being see-through. And it goes round and we've got all of these kind of autumnal themes on there. Loads of like leaves and things. And some little stars. I'm going to be honest though. I don't know how I feel about this in terms of will i use it i don't think i will i think it's quirky i think it'll be good for people who like the fandom but it's not quite i want to use the word sophisticated which i know this is a ya box i am 36 no i'm not am i 37 i'm 37 years old i forget my age all the time i'm 37 years old i am not the demographic that they are aiming for here and i always try and keep that in mind when i'm opening things someone who is 20 years younger than me might like this you know it's, it might just not be for me wow crimson moth friendship keychains designed by at layla underscore ashtar underscore shrine i've got a feeling i'm gonna like these Oh, 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 oh. The backing card is nice. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is so nice. So we've got a friendship keychain. You've got two halves of the book and two halves of the moth on each side. Obviously, it is after the book, the crimson moth. Wow. I absolutely love it. Who wants to be my book bestie and have the other keychain? I don't know if I could separate them. They look so good together. For a kind of, I don't know, I haven't done like a friendship bracelet type thing since I was so young. It might be nice to give someone the other side and be like, please be my book bestie. What if they say no? Anyway, let's get into the book. So we have, oh, all the tarot cards. Let's do the tarot cards. So we've got three tarot cards in here and we know exactly why this is. So the first two, are the tarot cards for this month. I'm going to assume that these are the characters from this month's book as well. We've got the Knight of Moons and the Page of Moons. So difficult to kind of make a comment on that without knowing who they are, but the artwork is good. The third tarot card is a remake of one that we had a few months back, and this is the Four of Moons. And I think this is from, was it Cinderella is Dead? And she was depicted as, I think, a lighter tin skin tone. And obviously in the book, she does not have a lighter tin skin <laughs> Why can't I say that word? Skin tone. She has a darker skin tone. So they have reprinted the card to be more in keeping with the character, which absolutely good for them so i'm gonna put that one behind because it's not really from this box but yeah i'm glad that they did that representation is everything okay the book what we've been waiting for we have a solid black sprayed edge on the bottom Let's get, oh, i can see the um oh oh my gosh that is not what i was expecting at all so first off, I'm going to put the UK version of this book up so you can see the difference. There is no character artwork on the front of the UK version of this book. There is the moth. It's called The Crimson Moth by Christine Cicerelli in the UK. I don't know why, but in the US, there is a different name to it. It is called Heartless Hunter, The Crimson Moth Book One. So this is going to be a duology. 
Um, I think. I think there's going to be two of them. So in the US, it's it's called a different name, Heartless Hunter. I've got no idea why. I will put the artwork for the US up as well so you can see that. But both the UK and the US original artworks are very similar. They both have the moth theme on them. Obviously the UK one I think is the more red one. The US one is the more blue cover. But this is completely different. They've got the moth on the eye and the face of the person. But then we've got this person and she's got pink hair. She's wearing pink jewellery. The whole cover is this very kind of grey and pink vibe. I love the pink foiling behind her there and the pink foiling of the author. Normally I'm not as keen on character artwork on covers, but I think that's just stunning. I'm so excited to see who designed this, who the artist is. Wow. 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. Moving around, we have on the spine the author's name in that pink foiling again. So is it pink or is it like rose gold? It's, oh, it's beautiful. And then on the back, we've got a pink moth that's similar to kind of the moth theme on the original covers. She was the crimson moth, a wanted criminal, not to mention a witch hiding in plain sight. But this wouldn't be the first time she walked into a space full of the people who hunted her kind. She'd done it hundreds of times before without batting an eye. So why was there a tiny seed of feed, of fear sprouting inside her? So what I will say at this point is that this is YA and it is romanticy and focusing on witches. It's weird having a YA romanticy and what I've, I've already looked at the Goodreads because of the difference with the names and wanting to know if it was a series or a duology. I looked at Goodreads. A lot of the reviews say that the language in here is quite older in terms of like the swearing and British slang swear words. I don't know if the author's British, we can have a look at that. So it is marketed as YA, but maybe if like kind of bad language isn't your thing, it might seem a little bit older, maybe. Anyway, so sprayed edges, block black on the top and bottom, but the edge wow so we've got this moth in the center and then this similar design to on the front here i don't know if that's meant to like depict a crown or something it's got like loads of little daggers in it so that is obviously the same here and then you've got a few different moths top and bottom and then i think it's just kind of like some florally bits around it the pages are a bit warped here. I think if I were to put some weight on that, it might put them back maybe, but yeah, that's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very pretty. Going inside. <laughs> wow. This character artwork on our end papers is stunning. They've clearly kept that same vibe from the front again. Interesting to see I think that's got to be the same artist. She's so similar. I love it when the artwork flows so beautifully, so seamlessly. They are both gorgeous. You've got this rose gold kind of pink foiling in the background again. Stunning. Oh, the printing on the hardback. Same end pages on the other end papers at the back. Wow. That's so nice. So we've got the moth here. And again, that kind of crown of daggers. I've got no idea, a kind of symbology. That's not a word. <laughs> what that symbol's representing, if it is meant to be a crown. The title, the author, this lovely kind of framing around the outside. Please tell me that Fairy Loop are going to print a book too. I love it when they do this. I love it when it's a series or a duology and you get the book number on the printing. And I love that kind of rose gold, that pink. It's gorgeous. And then same on the back to the front, but without the title of the book and the author's name. When I took the dust jacket off, I didn't show you inside. That is reversible. I feel like I'm smiling from ear to ear. This is stunning. One of the best boxes in a while. So this looks like the original UK artwork, I think. 
but with the colour change, with the pinks and more of like that purple vibe. Is that the moon? That looks like the moon there as well. Oh, and these gorgeous ferns. The artwork on this is just chef's kiss. Like they could not have done a better job. I'm so glad I've got this. Like, wow. As I said, best box in a while. We have got a bound in author letter with a digital signature on the bottom. Uh, and then I think that's the only signature. I think they've definitely taken on board the idea that we don't want digital signatures on the title page so that if you want to go and have it signed, obviously there's then the space to do so. Dedication like that for those afraid to be who they are. And then looking at the book as a whole, the writing, the font is pretty big. We've got loads of chapters. So they're going to be short chapters, which means they're going to be nice and fast and easy to read. The book is just over 400 pages long. And in the back, after the acknowledgements, please turn for bonus content for Fairy Lou, con uh, for Fairy Lou readers. I did not read that out. And there are some kind of cards with information on as bonus content. That's quite nice. There's a kind of a few extra pages there. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Let's have a look at the synopsis. And then following that, I'm going to go through the artwork and, and the artists and my overall thoughts on the, ba the box as a whole, even though... <laughs> You kind of heard them all by now. I'm so happy. This is such a good start to my day. Book one in the Crimson Moth duology. So it is a duology. The only thing more treacherous than being a witch is falling in love. On the night Rune's life changed forever, blood ran in the streets. Now in the aftermath of a devastating revolution, witches have been diminished from powerful rulers to outcasts, ruthlessly hunted due to their waning magic and Rune must hide what she is. Spending her days pretending to be nothing more than a, a vapid young socialite, Rune spends her nights as the Crimson Moth, a witch vigilante who rescues her kind from being purged. When a rescue goes wrong, Rune decides to throw the witch hunters off her scent by courting the handsome Gideon Shah. Except Gideon is a notorious and unforgiving witch hunter loyal to the revolution and falling for him would be deadly, dot, dot, dot. Before we get into talking about the box as a whole and the artists, I did look at Goodreads for this because I wanted to check if it was a duology or a series. And I went into some of the reviews and the overall ratings. It's had over 3,000, so a lot of people have read this so far. And its average rating at the moment is sitting at a 4.29, which is pretty high. This is meant to be good. I am looking forward to reading it and getting into it. It is one of my I do want to read soon books. I've just realised these <laughs> sprayed edge is not in the centre. Sorry. <laughs> so easily distracted. I looked at the one star reviews and there were not many out of like 3000. There were about five one star reviews, maybe a couple more. The main issues they had with it is that it is meant to be, you know, uh, romanticy. So it is these two people, romance, fantasy, plot. And they said at some points it lent a bit too much into the enemies to lovers. So interesting to see about that. But I'm not going to let one star reviews stop me because not every book is for everyone. There are a lot of fives, fours and three star reviews. So definitely going to get into this and look forward to getting into it. I've got no space to put it on the shelf. OK, so we have got our spoiler card, which is the artwork from the theme reveal. That is really pretty. So we have got the Cordway, 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 Cordway cap, which is designed by No One Designs. I love this. I'm putting it back on. So represent Bagazith. War College from the Imperium series by Rebecca Yaros. This stylish corduroy cap as if you were a student there yourself. I don't know if I'd want to be a student. Definitely wouldn't be a dragon rider, although dragons are awesome. But anyway, uh, the glass mug is by at Bluey Boo. Take it geesey and treat yourself to your favourite drink in this sassy glass mug. It features a quote from the Jezed Air by Sarah Ashim. 
Yeah, not sure that one's so much for me, but you can't win them all. Everything else is amazing. <laughs> Friendship key set is by at Layla underscore Ashtar underscore Shrine, inspired by the Crimson Moth by Kristen Cicerelli. This unique keychain is split into two halves. Share one with your book bestie and keep the other for yourself. <laughs> so pretty. I'm just going to keep them both for me. Uh, bookshelf tote bag is by at Chatty Nora. Carry your next book haul in this dreamy bookshelf tote bag. It features books with characters that simply could not stay away from one another. Can you spot any of your favourites? Amazing. Love it. Tarot cards of the month are Rune as the Page of Moons, so from the book, and Gideon as the Knight of Moons, the characters from. Illustrated by at Rosalind Arts. Beautiful. Featured book of the month, the first book, blah, 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 uh, Artwork on the cover, redesigned, obviously, I don't know why I'm pointing over here, is at by at Len Yan dot art. Reversible dust jacket featuring a colourway change on the standard cover and digitally sprayed edges are also by at Len Yan dot art and at Blanca dot design. So I don't know if that's them designing it together or if one did the other and it's obviously written in order. Solid sprayed top and bottom edge. Foil design on the hardcover by at Blanca Design. Blanca, sorry, at Blanca dot Design. Foiled artwork on the end pages is by at Lenyan.art and the author letter is bound into the book with a digital signature. And I've talked about this every time when they only use one or two authors, uh, not authors, artists and their work just blend so seamlessly together i just think it's stunning absolutely stunning thoughts overall happy so happy i i said i think that the the mug is a little bit of a no for me but you can't win them all everything else is brilliant so happy i kind of want to keep talking but i've got nothing else to say about this box i'm just going to stare at things for ages i will say as normal affiliate links for books i mentioned will always be down in the description they're affiliate it does mean that you don't pay any extra but i do make a small commission off the sale so it helps me and the channel out if you want other ways to help me and the channel out which is always much appreciated if you could like the video it helps so much if you could leave a comment that also helps, even if it's just to say, hello, I'm here. Nice to see you. And what's the last one? Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already and you want to see more bookish content from me, hit that subscribe button and that really helps me out as well. Otherwise, I am going to find a new home for my new items. I feel like I'm just going to wear this hat all day. It's really comfy, by the way. I haven't even had to adjust it. And... Yeah, have a good rest of the day, wherever you are, whatever you're up to, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Just realised I never took the fairy scoop and the bookmark out of the bag, but there you go. There's a bookmark. There's the fairy scoop. So, next month's theme, heists and hustles. I have so much to say about this one. Subscribe if you want to see it. <laughs>